Hi, I'm Jeanette. I'm going to show you how I make my kombucha. Um, it's very simple. I didn't have to buy anything fancy. I started making, I made my tea last night. This is filtered water that I heated up on the stove in a pot. And I've got five tea bags, regular tea bags, five in there in each one, and a half a cup of sugar in each one. It's just regular sugar. I also took my ring off. I always take off any jewelry. You're not supposed to have metal around the scoby. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out my tea bags. Scoby one or tea bags one and this set of tea bags. Make sure everything's stirred up in there. Feels like it is. Feels like the sugar completely dissolved. Like I said, I did make it last night. And then, so this is just tea. This is my scoby from last time. A scoby and uh, kombucha tea that I harvested. And there's nothing in it except those two things. So typically, you want a cup of water or a cup of kombucha tea in each one and you will also want a scoby in each one and my scobies are different sizes because um, like I said they've been reproducing so I add more filtered water to bring it up to the neck of the jar. My SCOBY, this is a SCOBY that I started making for these particular jars, so it is pr pretty much the shape of the top of the jar. This was one from a much bigger jar, but I usually stick it in there. So we will add a cup of kombucha. I don't really have to add the extra SCOBY but I usually do. Typically you want the SCOBY to be the lighter side up, if you can. It will usually float back up regardless. And now what I'll do is I will cover it with a linen a linen piece of material and a couple of rubber bands that will go into my cabinet in a dark cabinet where I keep my cans uh, for six to seven days.